Um, welcome back to the Mourners. So it's been a few weeks since the last glamping pod video. I've uh, just been busy waiting for bits to come along. Uh, so as you can see here, we've got the boiler and radiator in. Um, it's come out pretty nicely. Unfortunately, I I planned to have a boiler inside the kitchen unit, but it's too big. So we're gonna have to improvise. We'll have to do this on like a hinge. So you can open it because that's the only way you can access this and build like a cupboard around it but that'll probably be like a end goal project like at the end of it uh, we've got the flue coming out the side get the camera through there you go and there's also the gas intake uh, feeds in from the back there and the hot and colder uh, it'll be running off um, LPG bottles of course so it's not mains or anything and this is a LPG combi boiler. No idea what make it is, to be honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, we're still working on this wall. Not sure when I'll do that. But um, today, I'll be slapping on some of this uh, Sadelin classic wood protection uh, varnish on all the walls. Uh, hopefully without getting too uh, messy. Um, so yeah, this is just a... Uh, like to protect the wood um, because you might be you you probably can see it it's mouldy <laughs> it's not great and there's also fly uh, muck everywhere where the flies have had a shit uh, so it's just to protect it really and I reckon it'll look nicer um, I got a sample here it's like not too much of a tinge it's quite clear really and nice and thin so it's that I've also got some wood filler. For, for some reason. I'll find a place to use it. Um, I'm delaying doing the moulding because we've tried it with three different types of wood now. So we've had Sc Scotia, Scotia I think it's called, a quadrant and just strips of wood but none of them work because we have to bend it round and twist at the same time and it's just not working so uh, I think we might have to uh, just cut some bit bits of uh, square wood and just bead it round. Um, I'll leave that to the end because, yeah, I'll be spending all day doing it. Uh, so yeah, the goal today we'll get it varnished, and uh, yeah, um, and in three days we'll have we'll be having the vinyl put in by some bloke from Shrewsbury, um, and he'll be doing that. So that means we'll have to get all the units out, the chops, or all this junk I've just got piled up. Uh, and then pull it back in again, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do a time lapse of me uh, painting. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too boring. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, uh, so I've done about half of the kitchen area now. 
Uh, you might be able to see the difference on camera. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do another coat. I might just touch up some areas where they're a bit light, like right there. But of course we're going to have a moulding up there so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, it is hot in here. I'm going to have to put an extraction fan uh, in the bathroom at some point. Uh, else it will get real sticky and mouldy in here, even with the coating of the varnish. Uh, so yeah, I've just moved the chop saw out of the way. I'm actually going through it quite quickly. Um, well, quicker than I thought, because it's expensive, that stuff. It's £60 uh, for 5 litres. Um, so yeah, I'm just about to start on this side. I know that wall's missing, but I'll do that eventually. <laughs> um, I'll probably varnish the wood, then nail it once, it once a bit of wood is varnished. Uh, but yeah, I just realised a slight issue. I should have varnished before the radiator, because yeah, there's a gap uh, behind it. Um, I'll probably cover it with something, maybe a bit of plastic and masking tape, and just get as far as I can. I don't think anyone's going to be too fussy, because half the time they'll be walking, I'd imagine. Uh, so yeah, I'm just about to do this side. I'll probably stop in line with, well yeah, here. Then I'll drag this out, uh, the kitchen top. Um, not sure if we'll get the units out yet, because... I'll have to find someone to help me, because they're heavy, um, so there's that, and yeah, generally it's going alright. Also there's this bathroom, uh, yeah, yeah, there's still quite a lot to do, um, so yeah, I'll carry on, and uh, yeah. So it's a couple of days later, um, I didn't manage to finish all the varnish because we had the vinyl man come in. So as you can see, it's looking good. So I went for like a light oak planks um, sort of material. It's very echoey in there now because I took out all the kitchen units and stuff. We've also finished doing the sign-in door. I think I put some clips in beforehand, but we'll see. So there's all the running gear. It does need to lift up a bit, I think. Yeah. Um, just because it's hit, hitting the ground a bit. But we can adjust that with the spanners. So it was two sheets of uh, vinyl. It's a bit muddy already, but uh, this was the main sheet. And then we came into the bathroom. And it's looking good. And of course it's been sealed all around the edges. Um, so the next stage will be to get as much more varnish as I can. So I've bought some of these plastic sheets and I'm just going to lay these down here because this area from about where, you, you can sort of see it there, and up to about here is not done. So I'll be able to do that and also do the bathroom without getting it too messy. Um, we also had a bit of a thunderstorm the other day, and there was a, a few leaks coming through on, uh, I think, it, yeah, this plank of wood. See, I marked it there, there and there. I'm not sure what that is. It's probably just a hole in the membrane. So to fix that, we'll have to take it off, and take off a, a couple of lengths of feverage on the outside, uh, then go in and put like a sheet or a patch on. I guess is the best way of doing it. Um, but yeah, we'll leave that until the end. <laughs> um, so yeah. yeah, the boiler's looking good and everything, and I'll pop this on the tripod and do a bit of a, well, I'll extend the time lapse. And um, yeah, 
hopefully should get it all done. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, yeah, welcome back. So I've pretty much finished or got whereabouts of this room. I've just got to do a few bits around the, the bottom of vinyl, which I need to mask off. And I'll do that out of this clip. Um, but yeah, it's coming along pretty well. Um, I've, I've been around the boiler, so uh, what I did, I masked it off and then just painted it up to it. There was a few spots where it's like splashed, so I'll get those now with some blue roll. Um, so overall it's coming off, coming out pretty nicely. It does stink though, it stinks of like a toffee, or like a, a burnt toffee. So I'll have to get some sort of air fresheners in there. Uh, another odd job is we're going to have to sand down the wood in there, as you can see. Uh, but we'll do that when the electrician guy comes. Uh, that brings me on to another point. We're thinking of putting a solar panel on the roof. Just for just ease of off grid, um, because originally we were going to pull it up at the bottom of the lane where there's a small electrical power source, but I just don't think it'd be right, it'd be a bit too loud because we get loads of deliveries in a day to the farm. So, um, what we're going to do is pull it by the we call it the pond, but it's a, ni a nice little small lake. Um, but the only downside is, is that there's no power going to it. So I reckon if we can get away with a solar panel on the roof, uh, have an inverter coming down here in the... Yeah, because I have the cabinet which I intended to put that into. If I could put the inverter into that uh, cabinet and maybe a couple of batteries, I'm not sure yet, we're still thinking. We might even just do it in like a separate shed and have the, the panels elsewhere, so to say then have just a feed coming in but um, it is on the table I reckon a solar panel would be ideal um, and these are only what 3 watt lights, LED lights and I think there's about uh, 4 in here, 2 in there, 7 of them uh, what, 6 of them <laughs> um, so that should be all really I mean the only other power is power in the boiler which is minimal I'd imagine um, so yeah, um, what else to say really, uh, I've done quite a lot in this episode to be fair, like a, a good stage should I say, and uh, got the sliding door, what we need to do next is build like, I think it's called a pell, well, it's basically a shrouding cover around the mechanism, um, to hide it, a bit of varnish right I also need to put that panel of wood up there, but I keep putting it off, but I need to do it eventually, so I'll probably do it in the next episode. Um, so yeah, what I'll do now is I'll finish off doing the, the bathroom. I won't show it because it's tedious. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll put the links in the description, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.